Pops, we have been covering for a long time now how vehicles are getting more and more expensive. Now we have the latest data from, I think, our friends over at TrueCar comparing average transaction prices of vehicles sold last month in May to vehicles mm-hmm. sold the year prior. The numbers are pretty staggering, Dad. I thought we'd w- w- walk through them and, and talk about what we're seeing from our community, people we're talking to in the industry, things like that. The only thing more staggering is a drunk. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Industry wide, Dad, <laughs> the average transaction price across all vehicles, True Car, and this comes from True Car, was $44,254. That's the highest average transaction price True Car has ever reported. Cox Automotive has given us data in the past that talks about average non luxury cars, luxury cars, EVs, ICE vehicles. Everyone's saying the average transaction price has gone up $44,254. That is up 14% year over year. The average transaction price in May of 2021 was $38,694. That, that's like 50, 53, $5,400 increase in the average transaction price in a year. In a year. Okay. In a year. Now, you know, they say inflation's running at like six or seven or seven and a half percent. Um, well, in automotive, it's running at 14 percent. Let's break it down by brand, Dad. BMW, average transaction price in May actually fell a little bit from April highs. It was $67,000. Now, that is up $7,000 from May of last year when it was $60,621. So probably 60621 is the right way to say that. And I, 11- I would think... <laughs> Yeah, an 11% increase in average transaction prices for BMWs. So actually below the average. Below the industry average, yes. Mercedes-Benz Daimler up about $4,000 year over year, only a 6.4% increase. That seems good. Less than less than half of the industry average. Yep. And and surprisingly, their average transaction price is lower now, <clears throat> excuse me, than BMW. Yeah, it is. It is. Now, Pops, it's when you start to look at brands like Ford, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, and Stellantis, where you start to realize this is where the inflation in car prices is really happening. And dad, is it in part because they actually offer affordable vehicle price points? So we're just seeing more pressure to more affordable vehicles? Want to know who the good dealer is in your neighborhood? Go to joinya.com and check out our crowdsourced dealer reviews. All of our community members coming together to help one another. Well, the only one, I mean, you can't say Ford, I guess, if you compare it to Daimler and 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 uh, BMW, yes, it's more affordable, but it's still cracked fifty-one grand. Okay, and that to me is is not affordable to the average person. Now, when you get into brands like Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, now you're talking about cars that are sub forty thousand dollars in average transaction prices, and so that does bring those more in line uh, to what's affordable for. Um, more and more people. Now, the thing that I found surprising hmm. is realistically, there's less than a $400 difference in average transaction prices between a Honda and a Hyundai. And originally, when Hyundai and Kia came to the States, their calling card was were significantly less to purchase than even the Asian brands. And you start looking at it now, and it's not significantly less. It's insignificantly less. Yeah. Even Kia, you're just in the same exact ballpark. And Nissan, I thought Nissan would have a lower average transaction price, kind of more in line with Kia, but over $36,000. Those four brands, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, 16% increases year over year for the month of May. Nissan's actually a 17% average transaction price increase year over year. That is blisteringly fast compared to inflation. Absolutely. And that's and and that ultimately could be a contributing factor as to if there if there is not an or if there is an increase in manufacturers production and there's more inventory available, the fact that these vehicles are going up at more than twice the rate of inflation could at that time be an indication 
as to taking people out of the market. Let's wrap with uh, Stellantis, Subaru, Toyota, and VW. And then I have a comment that I want to posit and get your reaction to. Okay. Stellantis price point up 15%. That's going to be your Rams, your Jeeps, et cetera. That's, I think, buoyed by Ram. We know that their price point has gone through the roof. Toyota modestly up 6.6% year over year, continuing maybe the trend of Toyota being a good value. I, I think a lot of people love the brand. I know a lot of people love the brand. They're the world's largest automaker. Yes, but they're still significantly more expensive than their other Asian counterparts when you think of of Honda, um, Nissan. Uh, we don't have Mazda on here, but Mazda would be one of their, their Asian brands that they that they would go up against and even Subaru. Um, so they are, <clears throat> even though their price increase is only 6.6%, they are the overall most expensive average transaction price for Asian brands. VW Group up 5.8%, the lowest amount of uh, inflation year over year in terms of their average transaction price. Pops, my question to you, is this and it's been months of this where we've seen dealers charging above uh, manufacturer suggested retail price, so increasing the average transaction price. Is this the the final straw that says to manufacturers, we have more pricing power here, we can charge more, we can increase MSRPs, we can have a bigger take of the consumer wallet? Uh, well, I yeah, I think they be, they began to realize that a year ago, when when the dealers started adding all the additional markups and market adjustments, and at that point, the, the manufacturers probably all sat up and said, our MSRPs are too low. If the dealer can add 10000 or 15000 or only 5000 to it um, and get it, well, then that means if we wanted to, we could add 2000 or 3000 to it um, and safely get away with it. So, yes, I, I, I think the, the manufacturers have sat up and said, there's money to be had here. And we're going to have it. I agree with you there, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens next month. We'll be keeping tabs on this and more. Not a great time to be in the market if you need to buy a car. However, if you're going to, maybe a VW. Maybe a VW. Yeah, or, or you know, or one of the Asian or Korean brands. Well, still, they went up 16 or 17%. I like the VW at 5.5%. Maybe that's, I'm just, I shop different, I guess. Uh, yeah, you do. You shop by percentage of increase, not necessarily by best value. <laughs>